they apply every morning when they wake. The red ochre cream that the Hemba are famous for is made by pounding the red ochre stone into small pieces. Thereafter, the fragments are mixed with butter, slightly heated by means of smoke and applied on the skin. The main reason for the red ochre is to establish a difference between men and women. Moreover, the red layer seems to help against the scorching sun radiation while keeping the skin clean and moist and to some extent it blocks hair growth on the body. On top of the women's head, you will find the himba crown locally known as the rimbe. This crown is made of goat or goats, goat or cow leather and it's placed on the head when a girl reaches puberty. The red orca, however, is applied when the girls are old enough to look after themselves hygienically. I would like to read your comments. Don't forget to drop them below. It's very important to us. Also, in the Northeastern Cape, there's an interesting story or an interesting practice called the Quetta Circumcision Ceremony. The boys of this tribe are kept in a cave when they reach puberty and made to go through rigorous tests such as circumcision as old as they are in a bid to prove their manhood. The region of the Northeastern Cape has many traditions. One of these is performed to make men out of the boys, which is called the Quetta Circumcision Ceremony. This Southern African ceremony is a common African tribal tradition that is practiced by several tribes. It is practiced to prove a young boy's manhood. When they are of age, boys are sent to spend several days or weeks in a circumcision lodge during winter, where they are put through vigorous and often dangerous tests like continuous dancing until exhaustion. It is a very old tradition and every Soksa boy has to go through the ceremony before they are regarded as a man. If he does not, his people will forever refer to him as a boy, and no self-respecting woman will want to marry him. During the Quetta ceremony, boys of different ages live in a so-called circumcision lodge. Here, they stay in the isolation during the winter months. For this period, they are under the orders of the lodge master, who imposes some tough tests of stamina on them. Traditionally, these tests were so severe that they often resulted in death. In modern times, however, the conditions and disciplines have less become severe. Living in a special heart away from the rest, the Lodge Master instructs them in the conduct, social duties, and the traditions of their people as well as their political obligations. The knowledge that the boys will have about these things depends greatly on the character and knowledge of the Lodge Master himself. No one is sure exactly what happens in the Lodge because it is kept a close secret between the men. Anyone who speaks out takes the chance of not being regarded as a man by his people. What is known for sure is the strange circumcision costume the young men have to wear. Their bodies are whitened with sandstone. They also wear a white sheepskin as a coat or blanket. This is done to keep away the evil spirit. For ceremonial occasions, they dress in a reed skirt, which they put on by tying one end to a tree and then winding themselves into it. On their heads, they wear a reed cap in the form of a cone and also a reed mask. With these costumes, they perform special dances, imitating a bull. They paw the ground, tossing their heads in the hair and snorting. They lose themselves in the dance, drumming their heels in the ground and flexing their muscles, perspiring. They are very proud and like to show off their dancing skills. They perform their dances to neighboring hearts, but they always stay masked and females know to keep their distance because no boy is allowed to marry before he has completed the ceremony and is a man. You're still watching Africa Uncovered live on our TV. The power is sponsored by General Laundry and Cleaning Services. To get your clothes, as good as new, rain or shine within seven to two hours. We're also sponsored by a crafting market. We get you fresh food stuff and other food items at affordable prices, straight to your doorstep. We also want to say a big thank you because we're sponsored by Aski TV Production. We do live coverage of funerals, engagement, photo shoot, event production and management, music video production. And I was proudly clothed by them up touching. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Act.
Active TV, seen beyond. Follow Active TV on all social media platforms and let's get interactive. On Facebook is Active TV. Share our post, like our page, and drop your comment. On YouTube is Active TV GH. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Put on the notification bell to be notified anytime we put a new video out there. And on Instagram is Active TV Official. Follow us, share our post, like our page, and drop your comment. And on Twitter is Active TV. Follow us, drop your comment, share our post, and like our page. For the Sun people of Botswana, dance is of great importance and is recognized as a magical and sacred power. It is compared to a prayer addressed to the spirits of ancestors and to the gods. The dance trance or healing dance is the most important of all sun's dances. It can last for many hours, if not all night, and serves to drive out illnesses brought on by evil spirits. A big fire is switched on in the village. Women and children sit around the fire, sing and beat their hands at the rhythm of the music, while men dance around them, wearing anklets made with cocoons. At each step, these ankles produce rhythmic sounds. The dance is accompanied by cane or bone, flutes and drums. Men dance in front of the fire. The rhythm and the dance become more and more frantic. The dancers strike the ground with their feet. Some of the dancers enter a trance dance during which they come into contact with the spiritual world. While in trance, the shaman is able to consult with the spirits of the ancestors and understand who causes disease and pain. At this point, the sick people are brought to his sight and the shaman removes the disease from them, releasing the negative spirit thanks also to the dark of the night. Other dances are used to claim fertility, to predict the future or to have good hunting. Many of these dances imitate animal motions such as the antelope, the baboon, the ostrich, the great bastard and other animals that are in a way magical for the sun. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel, Active TV GH. Finally for today, let's go to Suku in Congo. Women of Suku are forbidden to greet elders. The women are even forbidden to greet or attend the funerals of elders of their tribe. Let's look at it. Machen ein kleines Geschäft daraus. Zwischen bereitet sich der herausgeforderte When people die, the first thing that is common is people grieving for their loved ones. However, in the southwestern part of Congo, a tribe called the Suku has a weird way of mourning their dead. When elders die, they are celebrated with a ceremony that is held in a forest opening that has been cleared. Offerings and gifts are given to the bereaved, but the women and outsiders are not allowed to attend this gathering. Bambutu is the name of this sacred ceremony. The forest opening that is cleared is called the Yifisolu. The Suku or the Basuku people can be found in the Republic of Congo and Angola. They speak a Bantu language called Kiyaka, derived from the Niger-Congo dialect. The people practice the matrilineal culture. However, men are reserved the chiefdom. 
The work of women involves farming and collecting berries, nuts and roots while the men are left with hunting. According to history orally passed to generations, the Suku and their neighboring tribe Yaka invaded the Congo Kingdom. This invasion happened in the 16th century. In the 19th century, gained some independence after the Luanda Chokwe Empire collapsed. The people crafted various sculptures from roots that depict magical figures, religion, and the everyday life. The people also craft complicated masks that are used for initiation. Thanks for watching today's edition of Africa Uncovered. We're proudly sponsored by General Laundry and Cleaning Services. Also, we're sponsored by a trust market and active video production. My name is Mami Abnafikia. Have a good evening and enjoy the rest of our program. Follow Active TV on all social media platforms and let's get interactive. On Facebook is Active TV. Share our post, like our page, and drop your comment. On YouTube is Active TV GH. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit on the notification bell to be notified anytime we put a new video out there. And on Instagram is Active TV Official. Follow us, share our post, like our page, and drop your comment. And on Twitter is Active TV. Follow us, drop your comment, share our post, and like our page. Active TV, seeing beyond.